What's up YouTube? Today is August 12, 2015. I'm here at the Hamilton Lake Park. Alright, let's take a look at the park rules here. It's always a good idea, you know, to read the stings, down to dusk, do not feed the animals, do not litter, of course. Vandalism and graffiti, of course, no alcohol, yeah. Fishing permitted. There you go, that's all I need. Alright, let's go. Anyways, today is August 15, 2000. I'm sorry, August 12, 2015. Oh, I came here all the way from Philadelphia one more time to Hamilton Lake because I really feel that the first time that I came here, which was about probably about a month ago now, or a little bit less, wasn't good enough. Uh, I'm leaving the previous video on Hamilton Lake on the I button in the video. But anyways, I came here with my friend Peter about three weeks ago. You know, caught two to three chain pickerel, one small largemouth bass and a couple pumpkin seed. That's it. Didn't even catch a bluegill. So you know, I really feel I really felt like I had to come back and explore a little bit further. Try to catch a couple new species of fish. So we will see how it goes today. It's, it is a beautiful place. Although this place is in, the middle, is in the middle of nowhere in New Jersey, it is a beautiful place. I would recommend people to come here. Awesome place to take your family. You can see, have a little playground here for the kids. The lake is right over there. Plenty of parking space. Can do picnics. Yeah, you know, you can put your kayaks in, your boats. And of course today, I'm also going to be testing my new fishing rod. I just bought this fishing rod here that cost me quite a bunch of money. It's a St. Croix called Avid Pearl. It's actually one of the only pink violet rods in the market that are like high quality, professional for like, you know, serious bass anglers. So I really wanted to have one. Anyways. All right, we're getting here at the lake. I'm gonna start setting up my stuff. See if I can catch something to show you guys. All right, before I go, here, here's a little map of the lake. So I don't have to put any, any maps in the video. I don't know how good you guys can see it, but I'm right here right now. Okay, am I gonna be fishing this area here all the way down, down this trail, all the way to the end of the park? Then they have another walking trail over here, but there are no fishing spots. There's one fishing spot right by the end here, you see? A little fish thing, but man, that would be like a, a really far walk for me, okay? So I'm just gonna be fishing this area here. <laughs> oh, and of course, there's like a photo of a fly fisherman with a chain pickerel. Well, all right, let me set up my stuff and see how this goes. All right, before I start fishing, let me show you guys what I will be using for now. So my setup for today, as I told you guys, I've just purchased this rod. It's a St. Croix. It's called the Avid Pearl Collection. It is actually for females, but you know, I liked the color so much. Like I said, it is one of the only violet pink you know, rod on the market that is really made nicely, not those Barbie rods for kids, you know, so I decided to buy it. So, <laughs> you know, it cost me quite a lot of money. So I'm using this rod today with my Shimano Symmetry 4000 FL. Uh, I am going to pair it with a smaller reel in the future, but for now I'm just testing it. So I'm going with the Symmetry, uh, 12 pounds Berkeley, Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon line. And for now, I mean, I'm going to switch different baits throughout the day. But for now, let me show you guys. I'm using a 2.0 Gamakatsu hook with a little creature bait. All right. So nothing too special. All right. I'm going to start casting a couple places. See if there's any fish around here. Walk around. I'll keep you guys updated. What is this? 
Let's see what type of sun is this. This is an authentic bluegill. All right, finally. Even though it's small for you guys and very common, you know this is my first bluegill from Hamilton Lake. Right, there we go, first fish of the day, a bluegill. Nothing too extraordinary, but now I have one documented bluegill from this place, which for me is amazing. All right, whoa, goodness, wow, I was trying to get a pickerel there and the, this gigantic bluegill came up, <laughs> all right, Hamilton has some big bluegill, all right, that's what I know now, goodness, look at this, wow, go away, I was trying to get a pickerel. There's a pickerel laying like right here in front of me. Man, that had to be had to be a little thing like this, man. What? Another one? <sighs> Vicious. trying to get the pickerel again and this time is a gigantic pumpkin seed are you kidding me first a gigantic bluegill now a gigantic pumpkin seed oh it's, it's like this i'm never gonna be able to catch the pickerel this is so frustrating well let's take this photo of this pumpkin seed hamilton is full of weird fish man seriously now i'm pretty sure that pickerel is poked yeah, the pickerel left. Are you serious, man? What is this? <laughs> Another pumpkin seed. So folks, so far I'm trying to see if there are other types of sunnies here. So far I've caught some nice sized sunnies from Hamilton Lake. Alright, this is another nice sized pumpkin seed. I'm using a 164 ounce jig head with a little 1 inch gold minnow. You know, these are the 1 inch gold alive minnow that you can buy in the market. There we go. Hopefully I'll be able to catch some other species here. You know, I'm a multi-species angler, so what's what I, that's what I do, right? I go hunting for new species. All right, let's see how we do.
There we go. First one of the day. <laughs> Although <laughs> this large mouth bass is like smaller than my hand, man. <laughs> Shame on him. So greedy. Seriously. <laughs> look, look at the size of this little creature. It's even funny. Man, got a four incher. Uh, anyways, all right, let's take a proper photo of this fella and throw him back. Photo on the grass. Oh, by the way, the grass is wet, folks. I don't know if it is from the rain or everything, so you know, it doesn't really bring any harm to the fish slime. Oh, all right. Fish on. Oh yeah, fish on! Finally! It's alright. It's not big, but hey, a bass is a bass. Alright, come here, little buddy. Took a while for this fish, man. So I gotta take my time with it. It is mad. This fish is mad. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah, keep jumping. I don't even mind if I lose him or not at this point. There we go. All right. Now it's getting a little bit more solid than before. All right, quick photo, quick release. Oh, boy. Wow. This guy is all tainted, too. He's got black marks. Hyperpigmented melanosis. Okay, let's take an Instagram photo and then we're going to release this guy. All good to go. Final view. This is the one large one bass from Hamilton Lake. All right. Take your time, fella. Take your time. Fish is still recovering. I gotta tell you, folks. You know, so far that one was pretty small. This one's a little bit bigger, but still not satisfied. You know. Not satisfied. There should be much, much bigger fish than this here. Seriously. Fish on. Alrighty. Second one of the day. Hit the Senko again, which is a good sign. There we go. Not big, still, but you know, a bass a bass. There we go. Not gonna take a photo of this one, you know. One photo is. Far than enough. Up he goes.
Let's see if there's anything here. Oh, fish on. Uh, textbook bite right there. Right. Textbook bite. Third bass of the day. No pickerel. Bass all small. Can't say I'm disappointed though, you know. Alright, I guess the average for Hamilton is really about one, one and a half. Oh well. Ready to go. Oh boy. 2,000 branches. Okay, let's cast over the shadow here. Perfect. Textbook light. A little risky with y'all. Okay, let's cast a little bit more to the left. Ah! Fish on! <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Small, but hey. My god, this one's a. Was a baby man. All right, come on. Since you fell, go back where you belong soon. Baby man. Fish on. Right at the corner. Right here, man, another textbook bite. Dropped straight down. No. Let me take this hook out properly. There we go. All right, not big. Assuming all the bass here are not big because I haven't caught anything big yet. <laughs> Seriously. That's number five for the day. Fish on. Oh yeah. A lot of textbook example. But all of them are small. That's the part that I, I, I can't I can't fathom, man. I can't understand. Why are all of them so small? You know? You would think, you know, that it would have caught like at least one bigger than two pounds, man. All the size. Goodness. Alright folks, final update. Right now is about 5.30 p.m. I'm walking towards the Hamilton station. I, I need to take the... What's the name of that thing? I think it's called Atlantic City Express Line. Yeah, so I need to take that to go home. Uh, I fished for about four hours. As you guys saw, 
caught some largemouth bass. I caught some bluegill, but I've included only two in the video, I believe. Uh, I caught one pumpkin siege, and that's it. And uh, I don't think I will be coming back to Hamilton for a while. <laughs> you know, I don't think there are, there's much more to Hamilton other than this species of fish. I did see, uh, I did see a redfin pickerel, or I, I'm pretty sure that it was a redfin pickerel, but I, I failed miserably at catching that fish. So, you know, no new species for me today. Still, it was a very productive day. Senkos worked really well. All the fish were caught in the shallows, nothing in the middle. You know, just throwing around the shoreline, very close. And, you know, it was fun. All right, now I have to think where I'm going to fish tomorrow. <laughs> I'll keep in touch. Tie lines, fellas.